Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what is going on in your love life, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see, quite very interesting. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating that for some of you, you know, you are perhaps walking away, right, from something that might have brought you a lot of stress. It feels like this could be a connection that was overwhelming. It feels as if you were carrying a lot of responsibilities. You were feeling exhausted. I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you were definitely in a position where, um, you know, it feels like you were forced, forced in your circumstances to bear the load, forced in your circumstances to be something or someone that you were not. And it feels like you might have been taken advantage of, you know. Sagittarius has a very strong energy and he could be a man or woman, it doesn't really matter. But when people see that strength, they see that qualities that you bring to the table, they also see vulnerability because amongst the fire signs, believe it or not, Sagittarius have the most uh, loving and kindness hearts, they really do. So I feel like in this sense, you might have inadvertently brought into your world a person who saw an opportunity to either take advantage of your good nature or to have some sort of, um, you know, upper hand, right? I feel like that's the energy, yeah. So what is connecting the two of you? Right, very unusual energies. I feel like there's a lot of elements that are hidden, that are obscured, that are not fully seen. And I feel like there's aspects of who you are and your true power and the strength that you bring to the table that you haven't yet fully realized. So some of you could be in any age category, literally, it doesn't really matter. But the thing is that in the process of growth, you know, you get stronger, you get more powerful, you become more of who you are. I feel like for a lot of you, you may have underestimated your true strength as a human being. And I feel like that's kind of obscured. You don't really know your true value. You don't really know or understand your true power. And that could be something that you're needing to discover during this phase of your life. I feel like there's this energy of which, um, you know, there's a lot of potential for growth in your life, a lot of potential for uh, spiritual awakenings, things that are going to open up your eyes, help you see, help you recognize uh, so much of your own inner power. And this is really an important time for you. So your person's energy is indicating uh, someone that is trying to figure things out. You know, it almost feels as if they're going under the car, you know, sliding under there and they're trying to um, look and see what's broken, what uh, needs to be fixed. It feels like that sort of energy. And so I get the impression uh, from this individual year that um, there's certain things that don't make sense for this person. There's certain things that they haven't still figured out. There's certain things that they still um, don't understand. And that could be because they are either unable to understand or they are unable to, um, you know, comprehend. So, you know, these two energies are colliding with one another. They are not really working in harmony when it comes to your person. I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that there's a desire on your person's part to sort of rush forward, to um, move at a rapid pace, you know. And then there's another part of them which is saying that something can't be rushed. It's an antsy kind of energy, you know, uh, because uh, it can have connotations of someone 
that uh, was out of the picture before they were in the picture. So this person could have ran off, but at the same time, they didn't want to make it so obvious. You know, there's so many interpretations that can come from these two energies in itself. great deal of discontent from this individual. I'm also picking up an energy which is indicating that this person, you know, um, they could be gone off doing their own thing. For some of you, this individual might be looking for love elsewhere with uh, you either being aware of it or not. And it feels like there's a sense of them trying to um, sort of gain some type of a footing in this situation. It's a very unusual energy when you really, really think about it. What I do get as well is that uh, there's a sense of this individual, you know, not having this serious sort of energy. This feels like the type of energy of a jester. This feels like the type of energy of someone uh, that does things, clowns around, you know, that kind of energy. So I do get the impression here yeah, that this person doesn't know if they should rush off and, and try to find someone else, but they could be talking to people. They don't know if they should rush off and get into another relationship. That could be uh, something that they're trying to contemplate right now. Very interesting, especially if you were involved in a deeply connected situation with a person where you thought that, well, the romance or the love is going to eventually come to fruition or the two of you are eventually going to work things out, you know, with one another. And when you feel a deep connection towards an individual, there's a refusal to look at their flaws. I feel like you might have cut this person off for some of you. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, this person you were dealing with, they seem to be the type of person that chats a lot or talks a lot to, to people. They have a lot to say. They have a very big opinion of themselves as well as for the world. Um, feels as if they think they know it all. And I feel like you were deeply invested on an emotional level with this individual. But uh, at this point in time, I feel like communication has either ended completely because you've either had enough and you're looking for something more serious or perhaps, um, you know, this individual has been playing games and they're still playing games, you know, who knows. But it feels like the energy where sometimes you just can't take this kind of an individual seriously. The one thing I do notice about this person is that there is... Um, you know, feelings and emotions there. But why aren't they taking it seriously? It's like uh, they can be swimming at the very deepest end of the sea and still they find a reason to clown around or to uh, be something that they're not. This person really either took their time to act on their emotions or they're just very slow as an individual to take themselves seriously. It feels like that sort of energy. I don't know why, but I'm picking up someone that is sort of clowning around, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if this person creates fake aliases or uh, fake identities and tries to hide uh, behind masks, things of that sort. You know, you know there's emotions there, but you can't figure out why is it that they pop in and out of your life and what sort of purpose do they have, you know. There's a part of them that doesn't want to tie you down, but there's a part of them that doesn't want to lose you at the same time. There's a part of them that is also trying to figure out if they should go and start chatting to someone else. The two of you stop communicating with one another, it's quite clear. I feel like the, the problem here is that you didn't realize your true uh, power. You might have underestimated your value here, Sagittarius, and that's not a good thing to do. Someone is taking steps towards a new beginning. It feels like that. I feel like 
think, you know, despite what you've been through with this individual, you still have love to give for them. You still have, you know, those moments where you either find them creeping up into your dreams in the early hours of the morning and you don't really know what to make of it. There's still an emotional investment here, even though you've chosen to walk away from this person. I feel like for some of you, there's like a 2% hope that things can work out between you and this individual concern. But, um, you know, it feels like this person has a habit of either playing games or they're very slow to figure out their own emotions. Uh, it feels like that type of energy. Uh, they might be inside of their head a lot, overthinking, overthinking to the point in which um, they don't let their feelings be known in the way that it needs to be known, or they don't come out and express themselves in the way that needs to be expressed. Sometimes you may feel as if you can never take this person seriously because of how they've acted in the past. You can never trust in this individual completely because of how they've acted in the past. But there's a little bit of emotion there inside of this person. It feels like flashes of lightning in the dark. And, you know, you kind of question that now and then. And you wonder, um, is, it, is it you? You know, are you seeing things? Or is this individual, you know, being resuscitated in their heart? It feels like that sort of energy. I feel like, you know, there was some type of major event that happened here, which caused one person to say enough is enough, and they're going to take steps towards a new beginning. Some of you could be dealing with an individual that is, um, you know, in a complicated situation, there could be other people involved here. Yeah, there could be exes, you know, sometimes they flirt with you, sometimes they don't. Some of you could be involved with a person that was um, either pretending to be signal, single, but um, having other sort of things going on in their life. What is unusual is that this individual doesn't really know if they should start talking to other people. They don't really know if this connection is still ongoing. So I feel like this person has a major question mark. You know, are the two of you going to have something or are the two of you going to go your different directions, different paths? You know, there could be some feelings and emotions there that you're not exploring because you just had enough. And sometimes, you know, you might just decide you want to close that book and you don't want to deal with it anymore. So I feel like this person is uncertain of whether or not this can be restored. So what I'm going to look at in the extended is your person's mind, heart and soul energy. Why are they not, um, you know, facing their feelings? Why are they clowning around in the situation? Can you ever really take this person seriously? Will it ever lead to anything? And if so, what can be done on your end? Because I feel like you have some emotion, but you are choosing to ignore that emotion and walk away. For some of you, that might be a good thing. For others, you might have that giant question mark for years to come about whether or not this is going to work, you know, or um, you should just, um, you know, close the book and throw it away. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.